Alright, what is up guys? I am Braxton the B-Dog Davis and as always got the old river cat out here with us today and we're doing some catfishing. In fact, wow, it looks like the river cat's already getting a nibble so that's pretty cool. Uh, real quick, shout out to my buddies at Colors on Parade. Chase, thanks for the hat. Appreciate you guys a lot. Uh, but we are out here at Lake Dardanelle. We're actually camping. I don't know if you guys can see the camper back there behind me. Uh, but we're actually camping out this week, hanging out, having a good time. And the boat is still down. We're still having some few problems with it. So we decided to kind of do some bank fishing for you guys. Uh, what we've got is, is we have the beautiful Lake Dardanelle out there. I got this stinking pole in front of me, but we're just sitting out here on the bank using some live and cut minnows. They're big broder minnows basically. And uh, just seeing what we can catch. We're not really expecting to catch any big ones. We don't really want to. We're actually just trying to catch some fiddlers, some eaters if you will. Uh, but real quick, those of you who don't know <clears throat> about Lake Dardanelle in Arkansas, right next to Russellville, Arkansas, obviously it's in Dardanelle. But that way over there is the nuclear power plant. And this lake is actually a trophy bass lake, not really known for having a whole lot of catfish in it. Uh, it's part of the Arkansas River system, so we'll see here what we can catch. All right, real quick, just to show you guys what we're using here. First off, we do have just your standard Abu Garcia Ambassador 6600 SX reel here. Got paired with a medium light action ugly stick tiger rod. Uh, seven foot long got a couple different ones here uh, dad's got the same thing a couple of his Abu Garcia's are a little bit older the ones made in Sweden but those are the best ones in my opinion so those are gonna work out great all right all I'm doing is I'm just taking my piece of minnow here cutting the head off cutting the tail off threading them onto the hook just like that and we're just going to toss it out and see what happens Look at that, look at that circle hook right there in the corner of the mouth on that little bitty guy. All right, we're gonna let him go. These bugs suck. All right, fish number two here. I think that's a catfish. Yep, sure is. Hey, he'll fillet. He will fillet. Cool. Circle hook strikes again. That bait wasn't out there for, what did I say, that two minutes probably? Mm -hmm. So, nicely done. All right, cool. Let's try to get some more. I was just rebaiting mine, and Dad just hooked one. Let's see if we can see him out there. No, he's a catfish. He's going crazy. You're all over my other line here. Well... I think it's time for a pro tip here, Dad. Pro tip for tonight. Don't try to horse the fish on the bank. Especially with a bunch of rocks. Uh, that could happen. Heartbreaker. He wasn't no giant, but man, he would have uh, definitely filleted. He was a couple pounds. So, I guess we'll get tossed back out there. Is that a gar? Oh, there's one. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's a good catfish, dude. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Boy, probably I'll get the net for this one. Ooh. Boy. Nice channel. Did you get him? Oh, yeah. That's a good one, huh? That's a good one. Not bad, not bad. Bank fishing's pretty good. Cool, man. All right. funny then 
as I was playing on my phone. <laughs> Literally playing on my phone. And I put my feet on the bottom of my rod, like what you said. And I felt it through my foot. But since I felt it, and since that pole is stationary, he, uh, that circle hook hooked him. Wow, that's pretty cool. Show everybody what I'm talking about here. See how Dad just has his feet on the end of those poles there? Oh, oh, sorry, Dad. Let me just throw that fish at you. God, he just thinned me in between my fingers. Oh, that's going to hurt tomorrow. Anyways, that right there, yeah, your, your rod butts are going to get a little dirty. I get it. We're fishermen, though. We're used to it. No big deal. <clears throat> but what it does is, is it acts like a true rod holder. It acts like a true rod holder, not just like a rod supporter. So whenever you're using circle hooks, it actually helps load that circle hook so you can get an efficient hookup and you catch a little two-pounder like this one. You know, catfish won't take off with your pole because you got it stationary there and held down there. Yeah. No, Otherwise, they, they, big catfish take a pole and you're gone. they gone. Out into the river. So some of you guys I see on some of our pages and stuff like that that I'm on on Facebook and stuff, I see you guys just lay them on the ground. Man, I don't know how many people I've seen lose poles by doing that, but don't do that. So there's pro tip number two for the night and catfish number three. Gar. He's a gar. Dang, you got a heck of a gar, Dad. I think he's just swimming towards us. I, that's why I think you. Dang, that's a big gar. Night of the gar. That's the night of the gar. Dang. And he popped you off. Oh, there's your hook. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, here's good. Dude, let's get a close up. Think we can get a close up of this guy? Dang, bro. Here. Man. How long do you think that thing is, Dad? About two foot? Two and a half. Two and a half feet? That's, that's pretty good. He put up a little fight, huh? Yeah, pretty good. Oh! I'll let him bite you. Yeah. Yeah. He swam away. Adios. Well, you catch a catfish now, and I'll catch the guards. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'll catch the catfish. You catch the gar. Make sure you can keep him off my line, will you? Uh, I'm trying. Did you get all your stuff back? Got my hook. Well, I guess that's what's most important, right? This must have been your hook, is it? I gave you that hook. That's the same gar you caught earlier, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it's the same gar caught earlier. That's that is that the that's the red hook you lost earlier. Yeah, because yeah, you is. gotta go get a black one. Right, I that, had a black one there. That is freaking hilarious. <laughs> same gar I caught earlier. <laughs> It killed him. <laughs> oh man. Sure is. Dang. Ain't that something? Oh. That would bleed. Man, it's like that time that uh, that gar, uh, he hooked that gar in your boat and then Stella bit him and he jumped out of the boat and your pole went with it. Yeah. And then you caught the same gar the next morning and you got your pole back. Remember that. <laughs> Have a dawn. That just now dawned on me. That's that same freaking gar. That's funny. Okay, so dad's re-rigging here. So I'm gonna have to film, fight, and land this fish. You got a catfish in that one. Got a catfish on here. Another another flare. And that circle hook right in the corner of his mouth. He hammered it, then he stopped for about two or three minutes, and he hit it again. I got him the second time. All right, guys, this right here just goes to show that when fish are hungry, they will eat. Dad, how long do I have this thing out there? Maybe two minutes. I mean, long enough to where I could just sit back down and 
We thought the current. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like a nice little channel. Oh, uh, here we go. We thought the current was messed with me, but it wasn't. Is this, what, a pound and a half channel? Dang, dude. Well, that's five keepers. So let's try to get some more here, man. We're doing pretty good. All right, guys, I think that's going to basically do it for us here tonight. Uh, it's about 1.30 in the morning. We're getting pretty tired. Dad, you pretty tired, bro? Yeah, we've been fishing probably about four hours. Yeah, so just hanging out, uh, cracking a couple cold ones, just chilling on the bank. We weren't but maybe 30 yards from Mom and Dad's camper. And, Dad, why don't you tell them what we were doing tonight here to catch all these fish? Uh, we just got some minnows from, from the bait store and just fishing off the bank. Yeah. We, uh, uh, we got a good mess of fillets here for four people. Yeah. Yeah, we do. This one right here, he's probably about three pounds. Yeah. So that's a pretty good one. We uh, had some pretty crazy catches tonight. What, we caught a gar twice, right? Yeah. <laughs> got my hook back. Got the hook back. Uh, let's see, we reeled in uh, a drum. We didn't get that on camera, but that was one of the first fish we caught. Uh, I pulled in a giant mussel, so that was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, overall, I mean, it was a pretty good night. We just sat back and had a good time. So <clears throat> I will put uh, all rigs and tackle and stuff like that that we used in the description here below the video. So make sure and check that out. Um, other than that, keep an eye out for the giveaway coming at 100 subscribers. As we get closer to that, we will post more details on that. Really excited about that happening. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to smash the like button, subscribe because we have videos coming out constantly now finally getting this thing down pat and we're having a lot of fun doing it for you guys so hope to see you guys on the water hope you guys catch a big one we will catch you next time dad has this been it's been real good fishing real good fishing he says all right we'll see you next time